how to password protect apps on your ipad hey everyone welcome back to our channel i am bimal from the solution guy in today's guy video i will show you the way on how you can actually password protect the applications on your ipad but before we get started as always if you are new to our channel do make sure to leave a like hit the subscribe button and without any further ado let's get started with today's video now keep in mind apple does not let you to install any type of third-party applications to go ahead and unlock apps but instead we can use a feature from within our ipad or ios device in order to lock applications it's a little bit tricky you don't have to download any third-party applications as well so just go ahead and then launch the settings app once you launch the settings app on the left hand side you want to go to the option which says screen time as you select screen time go ahead and then simply tap on turn on screen time at the very top and we will go ahead and then tap on the continue button again now we will select for whom this ipad really is i will select my ipad and what we will do is over here we will go ahead and then select the option which says app limits so go ahead and set a limit for that particular application now what we're going to do is we're going to set a limit for a particular app and when that time is crossed it will basically ask for the screen time passcode in order to use the app so in order to do that we will select the add limit button over here and you can see all this category so if i go under the social ones you can see facebook and meet and messages for example and if i go to the option which says games i will just select the apps which i want to limit and i will actually select them and which i want to lock as well once i do that i will tap on the next button now what we will do is we will go ahead and then select this limit over here so what we will do is go ahead and then select any of these limits right over here once you go ahead and select a limit i would recommend just leave it to one minute because that is the most minimum time you can actually have so you can just go ahead and set it to one minute over here and then tap on the add button now we have set a limit for that particular application but we are yet to actually protect it with password so what we will do is we will come back over here and we will scroll down and you will see option which is use screen time passcode so go ahead and select use screen time passcode and choose a passcode for your screen time so in this case you might also actually have to verify with your apple id so go ahead and then simply verify that as well once you verify with your Apple ID passcode, we have successfully set up screen time passcode and we have successfully set up app limits. Now, how this works is that the applications which are set on apps limits for one minute, if I go ahead and open those applications for one minute a day. So if today I use this application for one minute and if I want to use more than that, then I would simply need to use the screen time passcode, which means it is going to lock this Facebook app. So if I go ahead and wait for one minute on this particular screen, I will just use this. And if I want to send this to my children, and since i've already used up today's limits i will not be able to do so until unless i go ahead and in input my screen time passcode and this is simply it this is how it works on ipad there's no really other workaround this is the most simplest and the most easiest way you have to set to the minimum time of the app limit that is the 59 seconds or one minute after that once we've selected the applications which we want to limit we will use a screen time passcode to in order to actually go ahead and open those apps for one minute and after that we will not be able to use this application at all and this is it hopefully this video i'll answer your question if it did help you make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you've got any more questions queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video